So we had the original, the original bracket went on here, and they had this on the end of that, and it had a ball that attached to the frame. Originally would have been on the frame down here, because we're a little higher. And so, then now we had to, no room for none of that stuff, so we we're trying to figure out what we were going to do. We both kind of worked together on it. So we took some, what's this, 4 inch, 3 sixteenths flat strap, which is this piece here. And then two pieces of angle arm, just two pieces of angle arm, what we had kicking around here. And um, I had this tab with the hole was already in it. I had a tab that was already the right size. It was originally off the end of these shock brackets. These shock brackets were out here a ways farther. So it was just a piece that was left over. We had a couple of them here. So that looked like it would kind of work. And then 716 bolt. The 716 bolt was the same size as what went in the end of that shaft. There, that was got a little bit of a burr on it. That went in there. Goes in there, nice and snug. So, um, then I had one of these tabs, just one of these tabs, and I cut the end off the bolt to the right length and made a pin with a saver on it. I call it a saver, but it's like an escalator pin. They got little tabs on them. The tab goes in, goes in. I drilled a hole, put a quarter inch bolt in there. And then that goes in there and you put your nut on it to hold the pin in. So that's sitting in there like that. This goes in there with a washer on it. So it kind of... Let's, let's put it together. Let's see and this here together. slides together here. I drilled one hole through this piece of square tube and put a stud there so it had a little more stability. And we had used two transmission bolts. And that sets in there. Actually, before I get it in there too tight. Get that one goes in there. And then, so I've got a washer, this is my spacer, I've got a nice spacer here for it to pivot on. And this here goes in here, actually I put that in there too quick already. Put this on here. You can do it with the pin off too, so it's not too bad. Slide that on there, back up here, back on my bolts. And I just had that stuck through there now for that. So I can take this pin back out here. Now if we want to take the the shaft off because I'm going to have to take it off to put the clutch, build the clutch rod which is going to be down through here that's next but now I can take this off to pull this out to build the clutch rod so that'll work fairly slick in the end now they're going to move it up on here see that Chad? see that it happens it always happens when I'm doing this stuff that's okay there. That goes back on there. And that nuts on there. That holds Goes that pin in. in. They made it that made it made out of that. So yep. that bolt makes that pin to hold yep. that. And that sets in there nice like that. Now that I got the washer all over there. There we go. Got that stuck in there. And that's just going to held to the transmission and, and the floor also. Yep. Hold it to hold that that's so it can turn the clutch. It's quite a there. What can I in say? The end, there. Now we get it. That's in there. This one's right in here. How did you That's start right there. to make that bracket? When I started, I had a whole different idea. Yeah. And as I got looking at it more, I changed it up. So now this is gonna, when the rods, when this rod gets down here, we'll have to build, this will go down there, and that's gonna push down, push that ahead to push into the crotch. But the rod will have to come whatever we do for a pedal assembly up in here. But how did you like start to make the bracket? Started with two pieces of angle arm. Bolted to the transmission. Bolted to the transmission. So we could weld to something. So it had something to work with. And then I wanted, Then I went to, I made the pin and I had this piece first because I wanted to attach to this something. You wanted to know where it fit. Right, and then I kind of got, it was on an angle, had to cut, took the plate, laid the plate up in there on an angle, made that. And then I figured I wanted a little bit more of a bracket to hold it a little more sturdier there. So you made that. So then I made that other piece there, which when I drilled here and welded Put the bolt through and weld it in here that's in behind so we just got the stud on the front so basically he, he put he bolted two pieces of angle iron to the transmission to have something to weld to to start and, with, and to yep. bolt with to start with then he knew he had to have a pivot point here on this piece and he went and used his brain and took the piece off the shock that worked perfectly with the bolt 7 16 hole, so it worked out perfectly he knew that. where that had to go so then he had to make a pattern for the 3 16 to connect this piece to the angle iron that's bolted to... Uh, and it's greasable. It's got a greasable fitting in it. He's got a 
And that's my spacer there, put that spacer back in there. So basically he made a point to weld to, and then made a point where this can pivot on and a thing to pivot with. Then he welded it together with 3 16 and then he made a bracket so it would not take off anywhere. And we'll put lock, lock uh, nuts on them. And that stuff there, and um, let's face it, it can take a long time. Or basically just start one start first place, get a place to weld to, and, connect to, and, there's and then and then fit in the, you know, basically it was kind of he went one step to another step yeah. to another step until it was finished. Yeah. Now we have a clutch going. I mean you uh, can go, you know, you still have you'd still you still have do to, it many different ways. Many different ways. You'd still have to build a bracket hold here, even if you were putting a well wood hydraulic. Right. Then you'd have to make the bracket for that too. Right. So but we'll just have to do the pedals inside and but I guess mm -hmm. basically it's to start somewhere you can get welded to or get it bolted to and then and, and go to where you need to, you know, work it from. But it's bolted to the transmission, so that's mm -hmm. the main. Yes. Yeah, so that was just a, uh, those two pieces there. That welded to this mechanism here that you wanted this to pivot on and then start making it look nice. It did mm -hmm. not look that nice at first. But when you start rounding this stuff up and you start shaping that stuff and, and grinding it and welding it, then you really make a nice piece. It's like well, Jolene said. We're about two hours. Wow, that's quite a we're about two hours. Can't buy it. And there's no one who can tell you how to do it. Like, unless you do it. I mean, pretty well, I have to do it on yourself. Like, you went a couple of different ways, one way or the other way or whatever, and this is one that works, this is one you chose, it works. And we wanted room, we wanted space for that floor exactly. to still go past. Exactly. So that still go past everything there, nothing touches. So that still go past this is his floor pan, when he puts his floor pan, nothing's going to hit. Can you imagine trying to make that after I put the floor pan in, trying to get underneath the car? Like it'd be, ugh, wouldn't it? You could do it on the hoist, but you'd still have it's a lot easier here. Yeah. And the hoist could be over your head and going that way. So is that a salute from the wizard? <laughs> there you go. And I did use a measuring tape once or twice. Did you? <laughs> now I gotta clean up. Well we're just gonna get dirty again, but yeah. yeah. I'm going to make this piece here fit now. It's dinner hour, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Dinner hour. Dinner hour, yep. Yeah. I'll go to this here next. I'll just get this here. Now I'll just make this here so I'll probably cut it so it's a half. And yeah. I'll make it so it fits. And then we'll just leave it until we put the floor on. And wherever we run our rod, then I can get the pivot point set up right for where this is going to be. This is probably going to be hanging. It's hard to show here, but it'll be down probably a little bit like that. And then the rod from the floor will come down through from the pedal. And then it'll push it. Awesome. That stuff needs to be figured out before we put it on, that's for sure. Or it should be. And there'll be another hurdle to jump. We do have a brake line there. So yeah, we have a brake line. There'll be another hurdle to jump, and that will be linkage for the carburetor. I'm not quite sure what linkage or linkage we can run cable with that other cable. foot pedal. There you go. So up, to, up to you when we come to that. Excuse me.